<laughs> Second time is just, this is just not, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. Turbos? You were going to blow your shit off. Oh God, it's in the bowl. Wrong it's guy. in the So what you gonna do? You gonna take this thing to 1100 on 93? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's the worst that can happen, you know? You did JB well the hole in the block, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. I bumped my head. Ah, yeah, fuck. Woo, that hurt. <laughs> you we poured, poured the aluminum down the spark plug hose to forge the pistons also. Wait, what? We <laughs> did that? Oh, no. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are doing more mustang stuff today some more twin turbo stuff this fine gentleman you guys know him his name is ken speed addict 731 on youtube what are we doing uh finishing up the oil pump gears we got the turbo manifolds on we got sleep last night but we did work pretty late so yeah. yesterday we got what did we do yesterday i can't even remember what we did last day what did we do? Uh, drop the K member. That's right, we did. We dropped the K member completely out. So turbo manifolds are on. The easiest way, if you have a lift, is drop that K member. It looks really scary, it looks really frightening because it makes a header install about a 10 minute process. But honestly, it's not that bad. There's only like six bolts per side plus the motor mounts on each side, which is 15 millimeter, and the whole thing just drops free. Anyway. Rambling. See, I can't even, I can't even talk today. <laughs> I'm still trying to wake up. Anyway, what we're doing, so we have exhaust here. Appreciate you guys watching the channel, sticking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let me. Are you okay? I'm just gonna restart. Gonna all over? I'm just gonna restart all, all over. All over. Jeez. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm tripping over things, see? I'm <laughs> Second time is just, this is just not. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. We are here with Speed Addict 731. What we are doing today is twin turboing, at least starting the process of a twin turbo Hell Horse Performance kit install on his 2020 Mustang GT. This is the same twin turbo kit on my car that we've been running. Finally got my car like perfect now. Built transmission, the fuel trims are money i mean the car is running great I tell you let this sink in just for a minute we went 970s and a quarter at 148 and seven and 148 so about 13 pounds of boost only and we did that with slipping clutches and a broken broken converter let that sink in we went 970s so much potential from these twin turbo kits from Hellworth Performance. His actually has a couple of new revisions as opposed to one that's on my car. Good. Look at that. Look at that. So sick. Oh, this is, yeah, this is your, uh, your product certification. Mine was actually Friday the 13th is when it was made, but you know, it was end of 13. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Turbos. This is a 63. 65 i have 64 67s when you order a hell horse performance twin turbo kit you get these beautiful comp turbos and they have this new anodized um turbine here these things are big 63 65 to do there's no oil lines to run pretty neat they're water cooled cooled by the coolant in your car this is a recent change so this turbine right here has been redesigned to increase flow by about 30 percent will help this spool faster get the exhaust out um so i imagine that he's going to he's going to be dipping into boost a little bit faster than me you but the turbo's gonna gag you? It, wait hey <laughs> no no so there will be a race between us eventually yeah i'm interested to know because stock converter now we're back to the stock converter i have built trans i got suspension I have all of that stuff, which I'm going to take you out here in just a second and show you. Those of you that are new to the channel, but I mean, there's your... Some other changes that I've noticed between his kit and mine. So mine had more of a crinkle finish, a uh, crinkle flat black. This is a gloss black shine finish on the cold side piping, which I think is really nice to look at. Something else I think is really cool is, look at this. There's a blow-off valve. It's blue to match his car. The wastegates are actually the same. They are blue and they are hot. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So these have modified, like mine, modified OEM stock headers with a T3 flange, not a V-band. But 
in September, so about three or four weeks from now. You can't get those anymore. Standard will be a four to one header. That is right. So Hell Horse is stepping it up, really wants to make a name for himself. I'm glad to be able to help uh, pave the way in that direction. Ken's doing it. Also, determined veteran, good friend of ours, Jack, his GT350R that we have twin turboed, made an easy thousand wheel horsepower. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, by the way, if you missed the last video, check out the video link above. We have the first ever in the entire world lethal performance made by Corsa double HH pipe. I tell you, it really changed the exhaust note on this car, especially being a twin turbo car. Pretty crazy check out the video we got the new wheels man they look good this combination is fire man let's just show you what we got going on for everybody that is new to the channel okay there we go so sleeper kit turbos live underneath but this is the finish of mine so it's not glossy but if you order this kit from now on it will be so really cool you can pop the hood and it's just it, it just looks so beautiful it looks so nice um redid some of my vacuum routing here and uh seems to be working a little bit better have no problems running it got a lethal performance dual regulator fuel system the return style fuel system with e85 giving us the horsepower but the turbos live under that a lot of guys actually ask me i've seen a few comments why leave a parachute on the back of my street car why drive around on the public streets with a chute easy answer guys you have to take the bumper on and off and i'm not doing that every single day i'm not going to take my bumper on and off on and off on and off this is a drag car so it's going to live this way just like it lives on a drag bag get over it can't wait to go back to the track we're still waiting on some tires this is a na national back order right now with ricky thompson's First world problems, I guess, but. So he's finishing up the oil pump gears and then we should be hanging turbos oh, by yeah. the end of the day. Yeah, we won't have first start. So if you wanna see that though, you have to go check out his channel. I'm not gonna steal all of his content. You gotta go check it out for the first startup. I'm just simply here to help. I did push off uh, Streetcar Takeover. Yeah, I do apologize for uh, missing Streetcar Takeover. It was in my neck of the woods, only like an hour away. And I really wanted to go out there and like visit with you guys, but I also really wanted to help out a friend. Ken has done a whole lot for me on my channel. Um, not for like YouTube content or whatever, none of that. It's just helping out a friend. And uh, I, I could not, not return the favor. Hope you understand. So here's the Gen 3 Coyote ripped apart. You know, something cool about like my channel and yours is we don't take our stuff to the shop. Mm -mm. You know, even if we have a problem here or there, you know, we work through the solution and try to translate that onto camera for all of you guys to watch, follow along, maybe replicate the build in your own individual ways. You know, like oil pump gears, he's got a bunch of videos. We've got some on my channel too. We had a transmission issue with mine, but I mean, that was gonna happen with stock clutches. So that needed to be upgraded. But all you really gotta do is upgrade your clutches, find a transmission builder, let them do the surgery. I don't really recommend, I didn't feel comfortable doing it myself, ripping into a transmission. So that's about the only time that I've taken my car to somebody else. Uh, Ken's got a bunch of really cool how-to videos, step-by-step, -step, easy to follow, educational. And Definitely go check them out. I actually put a set of uh, comp stage three cams in a 19 GT on my channel. You did just recently, and yeah. I did a very detailed video when I did that on that and the oil pump gears. Yes. Caveat to that though, you gotta watch the entire video. So if you watch five minutes of the video and think that you can do an oil pump gear, <laughs> you are incorrect. <laughs> Sir or ma'am, you are going to blow your shit off. You need to watch the entire video and then you can go back and reference sections of it. Oh God, it's in the bowl. Wrong it's guy. in the oil pan. If you can't find it, it's in the oil pan. So what you gonna do? You gonna take this thing to 1100 on 93? Yeah. <laughs> he said send it. <laughs> what's the worst that can happen, you know? You did JB Weld the hole in the block, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. JB Weld is spray painted. We poured, poured the aluminum down the spark plug hose to forge the pistons also. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. Yeah. I was like, wait, wait, what? We did that? <laughs> oh, no. You know, build up a little more compression. You know, build up, you know. 12 to 1's not enough. Nah. 
15 to 1. With, with 15 to 1 will boost. Let's hang some turbos. Some twin turb skis. It puts the turbos on. It puts the turbos on. Oh, look at all this room for activity. What? You can upgrade the drive shaft? Uh, eventually. Eventually. What about the axles? Eventually. You know they're going to break, right? Maybe. Oh, they're going to break. I think it's going to be interesting to see how far I can push them. I'll be running at my local track, so we'll see. I've seen cars go 930s on stock axles. Woo! The, the biggest thing holding everybody back is tires. Dude. It's a nationwide back order for 305-4517 ET Street R. If there's an alternative for a 17 by 10 drag radial besides ET Street R's that will hold this power, let me know because I need some too. I just bonked my head. I'm not going to be able to put it on a two-step and launch on that. Yeah, well, I am. We're going we'll to two-step. We'll two turbo time. You know what I'm talking about? It's turbo time. Do to do. Some waste gates. We got to build the waste gates. I'm doing their holes like this. I'll give it a seal so it'll fit like, like this. Bridge Zerk fitting is right there. I mean, that's that's Whoa. fine if you want to leave it like that. Oh, I dropped it. I all bumped my head. Ah, fuck. Woo, that hurt. Damn it. Oh. You okay? My head. You okay? Yeah. All right, guys. So what he was basically talking about is, oh. You can loosen this. You can pocket. You can loosen this. You can pocket the turbo. You can install it. You I was trying to prank him. I banged the. Get out of my head. Oh, that's what I get. What goes around comes around, I guess. Oh, hit the corner of the lift. On my head. I need a helmet, dude. Hey, we look at my camera and make sure it's recording right. Try not to nick the turbo. They do cost a lot. A couple thousand bucks a piece. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're not cheap. See how we can move that turbo like that, guys? Yep. And that's what you need. And then you'll also loosen this up. So we can turn this side. Yeah, and buddy. You look at it, they're not that tight, and you don't have to go King Kong on them when you go back tighten them up. No, you can, you can. Or you might regret it. Yeah, you can definitely snappy snap. Watch my head. Yeah. So this needs to go. Get it as flat as you can. And now we're gonna clock this, yeah, and then we'll right adjust it. So yeah, you're pretty much straight down on the Zerk fitting. Now, what we do is I'm gonna rotate, and this will have to be somewhere in this vicinity like that. I'm gonna have to play with it once we actually bolt it to the manifold. I'm gonna tighten one of them down a little bit just so we don't lose our spot. People talk about the instant power from like a supercharger, and I've driven tons of 18s with like stock converters and you know, like Whipples. Mm -hmm. Since we put the stock converter back on my car, mm -hmm. I mean, the power is just about there like a Whipple. Yeah. But with a 10R80, the way it shifts, the only time it really matters is when you first get on the gas. There's a little pause with the turbo, but yeah. with the, the auto, when it shifts up high, you're in its power band. Same with a Whipple, except that the turbo is gonna make a lot more power. That whole argument, I mean, can be defeated. My thing is if it was a manual car, totally different. Scavenger hunt. Yeah. Ken's gonna drive my car. Can't go crazy because we have no tires and we have way too much. Yeah, I can let the air pressure out. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You can kind of feel what the race car life's gonna be like a little bit. Minus the K member and some suspension. Duty side is like 50, so you'd hit, like if you got it, it'd be like 10 pounds. I like my wallet. But it, Some people don't have a fun time. I don't have my wallet either. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.